After allowing a few minutes for the anesthetic to take effect, a small incision is made above the umbilicus. Then a hollow needle will be inserted through the abdominal wall. And the abdomen will be inflated with carbon dioxide. An umbilical port is created for the laparoscope. Four more incisions will be made with care taken to keep the openings as small as possible. Once in place, the laparoscope will provide video images so the surgeon can insert the instruments used to locate and pull back the liver in order to see the upper part of the stomach. Then the surgeon cuts away the tissue that connects the liver and the stomach. Then the surgeon divides and separates the arteries that supply blood to the top of the stomach. After freeing the stomach from the spleen, your doctor wraps the upper portion of the stomach around the esophagus and sutures it into place. A rubber tube is placed in the esophagus to keep the wrap from becoming too tight. All of the instruments are withdrawn. The carbon dioxide is allowed to escape. The muscle layers and other tissues are sewn together and the skin is closed with sutures or staples. Finally, sterile dressings are applied.